Time to roll out. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Let's Play World of Tanks. I am in my brand new KV. It was actually on sale today at half price for, uh, I don't remember what the battle's name is, nor do I remember what it was part of. Now I feel silly. I'll post it up top what the uh, battle is part of. It's one of the, lar it was the largest tank battle ever fought, and it was uh, part of the, well, it was part of Barbarossa, I believe. But overall, there was an actual name for it. Not like I said, I'll post it up top. I can't believe I forget it right now. I'm usually, I'm pretty good on this history sort of stuff. So anyway, the uh, KV was half price along with any other tank that was fought or uh, used during this battle. Along with, um, you earned double credits for any tank that was used during the battle, as well as it was rumored half repairs. But I'm not too sure about that one. I know for a fact that it is half price for the tanks. As I bought this one, obviously. And it's also double credits, which I've been playing almost exclusively. The T-34, the Panzer IV, the Stug III, and the, this thing, the KV. For the simple fact that I need credits in order to afford uh, some of these tanks that I want to get. That I just, you know, have been saying I know I'm have the credits for. So hopefully I'll be able to afford the 3002 DB shortly. Uh-oh. Yes, not gonna do anything then. The KV is baller slow. Oh my! This thing is so slow it makes the Hetzer look fast. And the problem is that the stock gun on it is also not that great. But overall, I mean, it has very good upgrade potential. So I can't wait to see what I can do with it once I start upgrading. I might burn some free experience to get up there. Just at the moment, it's gonna take me a while. Uh, at the tier that it's at, it's pretty much properly placed. I doubt it can take on anything heavier than tier 5, like this M6 and I'm not even going to do anything to. Penetration. Or I'll do 15%. But yeah, so it's uh, very slow and ponderous. I think the first thing I'm going to do is obviously get the engine upgraded, get the uh, tracks upgraded, then I'll worry about the turret and all that fun jazz. I do have the gun already unlocked. It might be tempting to just put on the, uh, what is the thing, the 76mm gun that the one of the tanks can use just so it has something else I don't know and this thing's like a battleship there we go yeah so the uh, T-28 actually I loved with a passion I think it was super powerful with that 57mm super fast just all around good fun if I put the shell rammer on it it would have been even better so I'm thinking I might keep that maybe not I don't know debate about it. But I really, really, really liked it. Especially with that 57mm. I can only imagine putting the 85mm on there would be so much better as well, because then you're going to do heavy damage. Just I like the fire... Ooh, nice! I just like the fact that I can rapid fire the 57mm as well as the great penetration it has, especially at range. So, such a fast, quick moving tank. It really worked out well for me. Uh oh. Uh oh, again. It's probably that one uh, TD Wolverine that I couldn't see. Or it might be this T1 Heavy. Ugh, rotate! This thing is so slow! There we go. Come on, buddy. So, overall, this thing needs a lot more work before I really want to uh, consider it. I wouldn't even show it in videos if it wasn't for the fact that I just got it and needed to probably do a simple plug to update as to what I was doing and to mention that I was involved in the double credits and half price tanks and all that jazz. That's what I want is that derp gun eventually. I think that will be pretty fun being able to shoot a gigantic round at people and uh, potentially one-shotting them. The hilarity that would ensue. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Oh, that was silly. Our loader is gone. Oh, we can't fire as fast. Yep, there's a Wolverine. I can't even pinch him. That one didn't go through. I'm just gonna ignore him for a while. The tiger I can't do anything about. Man, Wolverines have much thicker armor than I thought they should. I thought they were supposed to have uh, very light front armor, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, they modified it for the game's sake. We didn't wow, even high explosive. Oh, that wasn't my high explosive round. This is gonna be my high explosive round. Come on, buddy, do something. 
Oh, there we go. I'm probably gonna kill though. Oh, yep. Saw that coming in. All right, so well, that was the KV. We'll see what else we can do. Hopefully, I'll next time I play it, I'll have some upgrades on it. Well, after earning a cool two million credits during the uh, double credit day, I have picked myself up the VK 3002 DB. So it's a uh, well, looks to be a Panther chassis uh, with a uh, I don't know. Panzer IV-ish turret. It does have the long barrel 75mm, so I'm doing uh, pretty decent damage there. It's not exactly the 88, which I'm working on getting, but I, it p certainly works very well. It's long barrel, good range. We'll uh, have to toy around and see what I think here. I actually played a game or two with it. I did uh, put some upgrades into it that I already had unlocked, but uh, the few games I played with it was alright. It's by no means a how do you, a front lines sit around, take a hundred shots, run away to sort of tank. It really is almost a quick hit and run tank, I'd say, is how you really should play it. Pop in, do a few shots here and there, back up behind a building, retreat, reposition, kind of use uh, your, inf or, yeah, your infantry, your army, whatever you want to call it, your uh, your tank support here. Use the rest of them to help you, because on your own, this thing ain't going to do the job. I certainly uh, have enjoyed its speed, though. It does pick up and get going. But, as you can see right there, I've started to enter those uh, level of games where it doesn't matter what I have. Those IS-7s are a beast, and so are the... Yeah, IS-7s are all I see here, but anything at this tier is going to be pretty gnarly. And there's very, very little you can do about it without the proper tactics, proper techniques, proper weaponry, all that sort of jazz. It's just one of those things where, you know, do what you can. Uh-oh. Uh, double no. Now we retreat. So, we tried. Now it's time to retreat. Go assist elsewhere. Like this low. He kind of put himself in a bad spot. It's kind of getting it surrounded. So we're going to try and assist and help out taking him down. We've actually lost our scout already, but they've lost a Pershing, I believe. Oh no, I don't have a way down. Woo. Definitely not good. We've got them. I got him for no damage. I didn't know that that thing was there. That could actually uh, have been really, really bad. So let's use that opportunity here. Sneak around. I just heard a gunfire. I'm probably going to go back to where I was. A little bit safer. Oh, there we go. Yep. We'll sit behind the uh, Mini Mouse and the IS-7, which is apparently rocking some stuff. A little pat and I can actually do damage against it. Like that. Yeah, it did a little damage. Long barrel, well, it's kind of a toss up between do I want the 88 or do I want to keep this long barrel 75mm because it really is awesome for sniping and it's a quick reload. But the problem with it is uh, it's not. A, ooh, I got a kill. That's awesome. It's by no means the 88, so my penetration is not nearly as good. But I do get to fire faster. Come on, where is this guy? There he is. Kind of, I think. I think we're gonna have to retreat out of this one. Reposition, take a different course of action here. Yada yada yada. Let's run. We seem to be pushing the center hill pretty well. So I'm going to come back around, swing through the town. Where it's a little bit more cover. Hopefully I can get some good angle shots or back shots on people. We've actually spotted their artillery, and I've found myself into a building. Uh, will I have a nice shot on him? Probably not. Oh, we lost him. But yeah, this, uh... We whittled him down. This, they're down to, uh, three major tanks. We're doing real well now. I'm surprised I didn't think when I went into this game that we were going to do so well. I've got to take it, though. I'm by no means arguing with that. Oh, excuse me, buddy. IS-4, I'm not going to waste my time, I'm going to try and hunt down these tanks. What do I mean by tanks? Try and hunt down these, uh... Oh, what are they called? Those... Big artillery, artillery pieces, there we go, wow, I'm having one of those days. Try and get around behind them best I can. Well, I can shoot, can't guarantee a hit, but... Might be worthwhile. At least look out of sight to me. 
Come on, get a good angle and boom. Looks like that one went yeah. right through. This guy's gonna be a problem though. Ooh. And we go. No, I can't repair all of them. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Enemy armor is hit. Yeah, run. Yes. Safety. Kind of not really. Here's that guy still right there. Nice. Now I can get behind this guy thanks to that guy's shot. That was an excellent shot. He's going to be right over here. I'm actually half tempted to just stay in camp. Ooh, wasted your shot, buddy. Enemy armor is there we go. I'll let you deal with it. I'll stay back here and cap. There we go. Excellent work. Now I'm gonna cap, earn some credits, earn some experience. Obviously, it's not my daily double, but played this one smart. Worked out well. Whew. That was a tough one. I honestly didn't think I was going to make it, especially being as low of a tier as I am compared to the crazy amounts of IS-4s and IS-7s we had to face. What is left, though? It's a Tiger II. Yeah, I'll let that thing go ahead and try and cap on the other end. I'll take this one. Well, that was a fun round of this. Let's see what else we can get into here. Oh, and I got Sniper. Awesome. Time to roll out. So... I uh, double checked there, and the 88 actually does not provide as much um, penetration. What it does do is provide a, about, oh, I want to say 50 to 70, I don't remember the exact number, more damage than the long barrel at 7.5. So because of that, it's uh, it's the toss-up. I did keep the 88 from my previous tanks. It's now changed hands like three or four tanks now. So I might, just might swap back and forth and see which one I like better. Definitely going to get the turret, though. More armor, etc., etc., more hit points. But, uh, yeah, in terms of which gun to use, it's kind of a toss-up. It really is. It's slightly different penetration, so I don't know if it's worth the change, but the extra damage does make kind of a difference. Or extra, yeah, extra damage. I don't remember what I just said. <laughs> oh, man, one of those days. Oh, come on. Where is he? Aw, oh, I missed. So yeah, I'm in the uh, little thing here. I kind of like this tank. It's fast, fun, entertaining. I can get away from stuff, I can run around stuff. Get up onto the artillery and then not notice it. Well, they'll notice it alright, but... I can run around at least. Got a Taiga! C-85B I can take care of. T-43 out there could probably take the Tiger. So I still have an extra... Six, seven hundred thousand credits. I might end up spending that on something. What is that something? I'm not sure yet. Kind of debating if I want to go for the another tier six, I believe it is. Yeah, tier six or seven, or uh, use it for war gear or what? Not, not too sure yet. Kind of a uh, toss up still. Not really. Uh, sold on anything just yet. I might just save it for now. Or when the day arises I need to have the extra two point whatever million to afford the next tier. Oh no. That was not good. I stopped. Come on, baby. Yeah, and I didn't even see I was stuck on the hill. Couldn't stop in time before I rammed him. That was a bad idea. I hope I did more damage to him than he did me, though, because that definitely was not good. Lost a lot of health there. That was, he caught me by surprise. That was certainly uh, unexpected. I was wondering why there was no one over here. Kind of figured that just no one cared. I don't know. Caught me off guard. What can I say? Should have been paying more attention. But yeah, so. Ooh, their tiger's dead. Let's go storm their base. I'm in your base, killing your arties. There's one of them. There's a stug. Nope, missed. Come on, buddy. There we go. Critical hit, no damage. Ah! That's how we do it. Hi, big tank. No artillery. Missed. We got him. Now we go for the capture to score some points while they have two guys on our base. We have, oh, you know. 
10 and there's well nine but still yeah so this uh another winning game for me that i'm living wow what do you know my luck has changed and now if you guys heard that knocking on my desk here knocking on wood i don't get stuck in a game where i'm the lowest tier again and uh die a miserable horrible death of five seconds but yeah, so, so far I've been actually doing pretty well this recording. I'm not arguing the slightest. Oh, another victory for, uh, me. Definitely am loving this tank. Fast, agile, excellent shooter. Let's go. Was it me? Okay, so I think I have a game plan now of what I want to do. Obviously I'm going to run this tank because I want to get that next gun that I'm only, oh, 500 experience away from. So hopefully I can get it in this round. Because that'd be super nice to have the excellent upgraded gun here. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking that instead of going with the T-3485 like I really want to because, oh my god, that's my favorite tank in Flames of War, the 15mm tabletop miniature game that I keep talking about, I really kind of want to go with the Wolverine and also go with the either the M6 Heavy or the TM whatever 41 artillery piece, which I've been neglecting artillery for a while. So I think I'm probably going to go with that, just so that I can be somewhat competitive if my friends want to start doing the higher level stuff. Because yes, while, while the DB is a nice tier 7 heavy tank, artillery does make a bit of difference. It does more damage. Oh, hello there. What are you shooting at? Oh man, I'm surprised. Come on. Looks like that one went yeah, right through. Some. Oh, he's on fire. Awesome. Ricochet. Ow. That's not good. Another easy eight. Yeah. Oops. He missed. And he moved in the open. He got shot. Okay. Let's keep moving so we don't get nailed by everything in the rather. Since I decided to stand. Oh God. Run. Since I decided to stand there for the longest time. Need to keep moving. Stick with the T29. He's big. I'm gonna get around him so he doesn't end up having to uh, wait for me to move so that he can shoot. There we go. Out of your way, buddy. Sorry. So yes, I'm thinking the game plan's going to be get the... The, uh, uh what is it called? M10 Wolverine. Oh god. I should have zoomed in for that. M10 Wolverine. Then go with the... We've hit them hard. I'm gonna back up. Where's my T29 support? He's nowhere to be found. So yes, go with the Wolverine and the artillery piece. Depending on how much both are, I don't know offhand. Definitely need to, uh, need to work on the artillery if nothing else. So I'm thinking... Oh wow, I just shot his commander hatch. That one didn't go through. Yeah, go with the Wolverine first and see if I can earn enough for the, uh, what do you want to call it? The M41. Track hit. Bounce off. Oh god. Oh god. Critical hit. Enemy ah, I set you on fire. Aha. We, we're dead for. Oh no, Everyone I didn't know. I did not see them all there. Oh well, I caught him on fire with your foot out though. Well, I, I think I have time for one more, why not? Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so I'm in the M10 Wolverine here. It's uh, now my third game with this thing, and the first two times did not end well at all. It's all of like, oh, I don't know, a combined of two minutes worth of recording of me just moving and getting blown up. One from a lucky artillery round right through the center hatch and dead. The other one from a T29 being like, oh hi, and deciding to, uh, put around through the front. This thing, uh, from what I remember shooting against it, it had great armor. It's just, when I played, it doesn't seem to be that way. Hold on a second. I need to sound mute either. the sound there. Okay. So, we are going to attempt to not die this time, now that I have my camo netting and a little bigger gun on this thing, because I had one already previously unlocked from before. We'll, uh, we're in a decent match here for it. I don't know exactly... Yeah, I should, in theory, I should be able to take on everything that's listed here. We'll see what I can do. I actually do, uh... I thought this thing was slightly weaker armored, at least historically. I was gonna say that I thought it was very 
fragile, but I could be wrong. I'm assuming World of Tanks folks seem to have some things right, some things wrong, just the same as uh, any other resource or game I've looked at has some things right, some things wrong. As far as the M10 itself, historically, there we go, historically this thing applied the uh, US tank destroyer tactics, which would include pretty much a hit and run operation. They would, well this is kind of hotly contested here, they would usually sit in cover, wait for their targets to approach, Enemy shoot, armor is hit. and then retreat, move, find a new target, so on and so forth. Ooh, I'm lagging a bit here. Really slowing down for some reason. Penetration. If I hold still, it isn't bad, but... We've got them. I wonder what's causing that slowdown. Okay, so yeah. US Tank Destroyer Doctrine, usually, at least from what I read, I know this can easily be disputed the other way, was that the tanks would sit in cover, wait for their ambush, spring it, and then uh, retreat away. Because being a turreted TD like this, they were able to easily reposition into places normal TDs wouldn't be able to, because they had a much higher vantage point, and they could also turn their turret to uh, get into certain tighter areas where a hole mounted would not be able to face and range in on things. So, uh, I'm not going to apply those tactics, even though I should. But all in all, it's a it's an interesting concept. It really is worth reading up more on. I uh, need to get around to that. I just got a text message. Learning the history of some of these tanks will definitely make the game a little more enjoyable. Ooh, Stug. I can't hit him. That PZ4 is hurting pretty bad, though. Oh, PZ4, don't go up there and die. Something got shot around me. Oh, I'm not wandering into a trap. It is a very good possibility I am, though. If I could just get up to this rock. Sneak around real quick while he's reloading. I'll shoot over top of this PZ, which I'm probably better off doing. Just like... Yeah! Aha! Success! Seems like our bottom flank is collapsing pretty heavily, though. So we're gonna go ahead and swing around the best we can. Ooh, I forgot they have artillery. There was an M3 Lee somewhere down here. So yes. Anyway, my game plan was to buy this thing. I ended up just getting the uh, the new Sherman gun. So we're gonna go ahead and use that, which is pretty awesome. Ammo hit. Aww. Lucky didn't blow. My poor ammo loader. Nice so I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then eventually the next tank I'm going to get is definitely going to be the lovely. Oh, what's it called? Ouch. The louch. Trip louch, actually. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna get is definitely the M41. Uh, what is it? It's an artillery piece. I've been neglecting the artillery for quite a while, and I really need to get back into it. It is... It's fun. It's a great... Ooh! It's a great way to earn money. But I took a nice artillery round right... right through the top. So yeah, that'll end up doing it for my episode this time. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Play a little more here and there, try and earn some cash, try and get some upgrades on these tanks, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.